Someone's really afraid to tell you how they feel. Please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. Let me tell you something. I'm never going to give you up. I put this back in and I shuffled again because this has, card has come out a lot lately. And they, okay, so I shuffled. I took this card, put it right back here in my deck. Guess what? Shuffled comes out again on top of the deck. So somebody's never going to give you up. You got Rickrolled. Like, I can't keep Rickrolling people. But they see something in you. Like, attract good things. Whoa. They just see you attracting all kinds of stuff. They've seen some big changes in your life. They want to be the next big change. They think that, okay, they see you on like an upward trajectory. And they think they ought to be a part of it. They don't understand why they're not already. Um, but why are they afraid to contact you? What do you need to know about this? Why are they so... I mean, why did I get this card twice? <laughs> Two cards from here. Will I ever get closure? And fear held me back. Oh, oh, fear's holding them back now. This is a connection that ended in a weird way. Huh. It ended weirdly. With neither of you knowing what to say. Oh. Oh. And also... For most, I think this is someone, okay, it's not like you ever both completely went no contact. You know, it, it's one of those things where it just sort of tapered off slowly. Like, there was someone that you, maybe you were texting multiple times a day, then all of a sudden it's, you know, once every couple weeks because something happened. There's some kind of rift in the relationship. Oh, sorry. A few things came out that I didn't realize. Okay. This is, you will only be alone if you want to be and not noble. There, they did something, and you didn't tell them that you knew about it or that you suspected it. And you know that you don't need this. Like, you're, look, congratulations, you're to a point in your life where you truly would rather be alone and be with the wrong person. It's better to be alone. And some people don't get that. Some people would, honestly, there are people who are um, so needy they don't care if they're with the wrong person. I've come to realize that because I like being alone. And it's so weird, like, when you come across these people, especially online, who just don't believe you. Like, they just think, well, you just haven't found the right person. Or they, they start saying all this stuff, like, and what it is, it's their, it's, it's their projection. It's like, can you just leave me out of this? Like, words are a spell, you know, let me put the spells on my life, you know what I mean? Um, but this is, you know, people are in their own heads about themselves. Like, some people, what I'm getting at is, they're so needy, they don't understand people who aren't needy. They don't get it. So, congratulations, you're finally to that not needy place. And even with the suspicion, even, okay, I think you were just, okay, you, you left or cut this connection off because you spiritually, you, it was spiritual. There's something spiritual you saw or noticed, you know, or something that just sensed, you know, your path is getting clearer and you are a magnet for abundance. Look at that. You attracted things and you're a magnet for abundance. You know, this is a test. Every like just like everything in life. The the path to your abundance is getting clearer too. People think it has to be so hard. No, it's supposed to be easy, guys. If if it's hard, you're doing something wrong, honestly. Um, this person is held back a lot in fear, and I think you are someone who's getting over that fear. That's why your manifestations are coming in. Did you know fear can block that? Fear can block that. The fear of disappointment, the fear of failure. You know, the fear of rejection, it can, you know, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, it's like earlier tonight, and maybe the person will see it, I have no idea. YouTube, somebody left a comment. Um, I wish this reading was true, but it'll never happen. And I responded, or something like that. And I responded, I said, well, if you, do, if you don't believe it, it's already not going to happen. And I don't usually res respond to comments, honestly. I don't have time for it. So don't go looking for that one thinking I'm going to have a discussion because I'm not. But what I'm trying to say is... Um, this is someone who has a lot of fear holding them back. It blockages. Fear is blocking them. Um, yeah, I know it's crazy. It's like, how do you step out of your own way? And you know what? It comes, uh, it comes with just being more enlightened spiritually, I think, because now I see life differently. I see life is just sort of like, and I think the Bible and other texts, religious, or I shouldn't say religious, spiritual texts, um, prove this, especially the teachings of Jesus, that we are playing a game here. You know, um, and I've been reading a book about the law of one, about how we are one in unity. And, you know, religion was just meant to, to divide us and all this fear. I mean, the religion sparked fear. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. And this person, you know, so fear is going to block your blessing. 
It's just true. I'm not saying you'll never get blessed, but it's... You're in this life to navigate, to learn how to navigate it without fear and to know that you are the one creating your destiny, not someone else. You make ne excellent decisions. You naturally command respect and you're witty. You're good with your words. You know what to say. You have a, you're clever with a comeback. People talk about that about you. And people respect you. If you, this is for you, this, you're someone who people do respect you and they ask you, they ask your opinion about certain decisions. Like there are certain topics that you know about better than anyone else. And they know that. Anyway, I don't want you to just own that. Like, you, um, I just really am trying to encourage you. Don't let this, let this person who's hold, fears holding them back, let them be an example of what you don't want to be. Because that's, even this not know all this, like, I don't know if they actually even did anything. I think it's just the fear. But, you know, sometimes you just get a vibe from somebody. It could be that they're, they're just not at the same spiritual level. Sometimes things, may, I'm just kind of getting this as I go, but, um, we, you know, things manifest in front of us differently than the way they are spiritually. You know, there are things we can't see, obviously. That's what spirit means. The air or ether are like things we can't see around us. And like, just because you saw them doing something not noble, it doesn't mean they weren't doing something else. Like, maybe spiritually, I don't know how to describe this. Sometimes the way we perceive things spiritually is different than what we see in front of us. Like, Maybe it was just they saw something and just something in your intuition just spoke to you and said, just you just got a sense. You know what I mean? Like, And it might not have even been related, but it was just something for you to hear. I hope that makes sense. I, I actually have an example of this from my personal life. I don't want to say it in case a person's listening. <laughs> um, I was going to say sometimes spiritual connections, they can look different from each other. I think whatever you saw... Had the, here's what I'm. Here's what I should say. It had the desired outcome. Like you were protected from this person for now, and you pushed them away. But they want closure, and you know they want they want to come in and be with you during this time of abundance. But you might just want to be alone. Look, don't don't let the fear of being alone get to you. You're not afraid to be alone. If you are, we speak that out of your life. You will only be alone if you want to be. You make excellent decisions. You naturally command respect, and you are witty. It is spoken, it is written, and so it is. Amen.